the Queen could be drafted into the Brexit debate as MPs toy with the idea of overriding Boris Johnson's proposed no-deal scenario and going straight to the monarch. According to an inside source close to the royals, the Queen is dismayed with one particular politician. Brexit has left Parliament in chaos, as Boris Johnson remains set on delivering a hard withdrawal from the EU. The Prime Minister reaffirmed his position via Twitter, as he said he would restore trust in our democracy by ensuring the country leaves on October 31st. Opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn is now under increased pressure to stop a possible no deal, as Labour deputy Tom Watson allied with Liberal Democrat leader Joe Swanson. They said, we're stronger together if we work together. Queen Elizabeth II has reigned over the UK for 67 years, during which time she has seen 13 prime ministers. The first prime minister of her reign was legendary wartime leader and friend to the royal family, Winston Churchill, who served until 1955. She also saw the first female prime minister, Margaret Thatcher, and they shared a relationship which was punctiliously correct, but with little love lost on either side. Only one of the 13 prime ministers she has overseen caused her dismay, however. One insider claimed the Queen believes modern British politicians have an inability to govern. The Sunday Times said the monarch made the comments following David Cameron's resignation in 2016 at a private event. The source said, I think she's really dismayed. I've heard her talking about her disappointment in the current political class and its inability to govern correctly. She expressed her exasperation and frustration about the quality of our political leadership, and that frustration will only have grown. The Queen has remained above politics throughout her time on the throne and retains a neutral position on all complex political matters. According to Whitehall, officials are engaged in exhaustive talks to prevent the Queen from being dragged into parliamentary debate. One senior Whitehall source said talks were hoping to avoid the long-term position of the Crown. The Golden Triangle, which consists of the Queen's private secretary Edward Young, Cabinet Secretary Sir Mark Stwill and Boris Johnson's principal private secretary Peter Hill, is charged with keeping the peace between the institutions. With intervention from the Queen seemingly out of the question, politicians have turned to cross-party allegiances. Labour deputy Tom Watson and newly elected Liberal Democrat leader Joe Swanson have urged everyone who cares about our democracy to join together and stop Boris Johnson pushing a no deal. Outlining the alliance, Mr. Watson said, first, that means working together to stop no deal, for which there is no majority in either parliament or the country. We can't allow dirty tricks that would, for example, see the UK crash out of Europe with no deal during an election campaign. Second, it means working together to make sure, whether it's before an election or afterwards, we solve this Brexit crisis with more democracy, not less democracy by having a final say referendum so that all the people have their voice heard.